Hi everyone, uh, today I'm gonna do a recap on adding borders to text in PowerPoint. So the, the main reason why you wanna have borders to your text is to have the choice to choose any kind of background you'd like. As you see in this example here, I have Amazing Grace, and you notice on the right hand side, the lyrics look great, they look very readable. But on the left hand side, they're getting washed out by this lighter background this kind of a sun ray effect here is washing out the lyrics. So how we combat this problem is we add borders to our text. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight Amazing Grace and I'm gonna to go to Format. And then from Format, I'm going to choose the Outline tool and I'm gonna choose my weight. My weight is going to be two and a quarter for the title. And then my body, my lyrics, I'm also going to do the same thing, and I'm going to do this the same way, the same method, and I'm going to choose one and a half. So it doesn't look that good right now because I, uh, I don't have it in presentation mode yet, so I don't have it fully blown out so you can see it. So let's take a look at that. So now you see the transition's a lot better as I go into the lighter area and the darker area still remains great. So this allows that freedom to have uh, any kind of background you choose. Now we can take it a step farther and add some shadowing. Now shadowing will lift the uh, text a little bit more off the page and help separate that background. So let's do that now. We're going to add a uh, shadow and how we do this is we're going to highlight the body text again and I'm gonna click on shadow and I'm just gonna use the first one, kind of the default shadow setting there. And I'm gonna go back into presentation mode again and there you go. So you notice that the lyrics have lifted off of the page even more so and really I've done a great job separating that background. Now you have the freedom to choose just any background you like, whether it's a nature background or in this case, this is a vector art uh, background. So I hope that that was helpful. Make sure you check out the tutorial on making a master slide because you can actually make this into a master slide to do it to all of the uh, slides that you're going to apply the master to and that way you don't have to do it one at a time. So make sure you check that out. I hope this was really helpful. Have a wonderful day.